Hello, my name is Rowan and I'm Cloud Accounting Manager here at PJCO. We specialise in QuickBooks Online and integrated apps that automate the bookkeeping process and make managing and growing your business easier. We're proud to have four of the top 10 QuickBooks Online advisors in the UK by client rating. Check out my reviews and get in contact using the link to my profile found below. In this online training video, we're going to go through how to set up your receipt bank account and link it with QuickBooks Online. So once you've set up your account on receipt bank, the first step is to link your QuickBooks Online account. So to do this, we're going to go to the account settings, integration, and then you can see here under the current integration, we've got this one linked to our PJCO Contractor VAT account and we can change this at any point or reconnect by clicking on the QuickBooks Online icon there and you can go through the authorization entering your QuickBooks Online password and login details and that will connect up your account. If you're VAT registered you'll need to turn on the publish tax data button here and set your default tax rate at 20%. We'll always leave the automatic publishing turned off as it's best that we check items before they go through to QuickBooks Online. And just going through some of the other settings fields, so we've got the general settings up here. In this, nothing really needs to be changed. And you've got your account details. And here you can set the permissions for mobile publishing. We like to leave the restriction turned on because it's easier to review things in the full desktop version as we're in now. But you can turn that off here if you're comfortable with publishing items from your mobile app through to QuickBooks. Then you've got the maintain lists section down here. And this is broken up into four different sections. So to start with categories, these have pulled through from the chart of accounts that you've got set up in your QuickBooks Online account. We only really want the expense and cost of sales codes to appear here. So we can make all of the others invisible by turning these buttons off here. So you would just go down here and turn all of the ones off which were not cost of goods or expense codes. Then under clients here, again these are pulled in straight from your QuickBooks Online account. So if you're tracking your purchases by a particular customer that you're working for, then this will give you the option to bring those customers in. Finally, in order to successfully publish receipts, your purchase invoices and credit notes to QuickBooks Online, the first thing you should do is link your receipt bank payment methods to your QuickBooks Online bank accounts. So that's within this payment method section here. Here you can add new payment methods such as your business debit cards or credit cards as well as cash so first you just name the card so in here we've named this debit card then you enter the last four digits of the long card number into the reference here you don't have to enter anything in auto publish we don't want items to be auto published the Publish To field is going to be Credit Card and for the purposes of Receipt Bank this also means Debit Card. Then lastly you can select the Cash or Bank Account from within QuickBooks that this card relates to and this will help Receipt Bank to assign the receipts to the correct payment account within QuickBooks. Next you've got your maintain users field and as an account admin you'll be able to add new users 
and edit existing users as well as reset passwords from within here just by clicking on this manage tab up here you can edit the user details there and update the password here and if you want to you can edit their privileges so the type of things that they can do on receipt bank finally under submission history you can see a breakdown of the submissions made to receipt bank by each user and the source that they use to upload the document. 